if we consider an object with mass m that is either thrown or dropped in a vacuum, we know that since it is in a vacuum, that must mean that the frictional force or the drag force or the wind resistance on that object is zero or negligible, which means that there is only one force acting on that object, that being the force of gravity. We define this type of motion being the motion of an object that is only acted upon by the force of gravity as freefall, and we say that this object is now a projectile. It is a projectile because it is an object that is acted upon only by the force of gravity, or put more simply, it is an object in freefall. Now what we can see from this is that since this is the only force acting on this object, we can see that the net force is equal to the force of gravity, which means that we can calculate this object's acceleration to see that the acceleration of this object is always going to be a constant, that being Earth's gravitational acceleration constant. And what this means is that we can now rewrite our equations of motion where we replace the variable for acceleration with our constant for Earth's gravitational acceleration. What is important to realize here is that this section only deals with the motion of an object once it has left the thrower's hand or the gun that is shooting it. It is only dealing with this object while it is in freefall. So obviously there are external forces that are being applied to this object in order to accelerate it. But once it leaves the hand or the gun that it is fired from or released from, there is only one force acting on it, and that is the force of gravity. Now, as we can see here, when we throw an object upward, we can see that it has an initial velocity upward. We know that this object would typically travel upward until it reaches a maximum height and then start traveling downward again. And we can see that the velocity would constantly change. Because it's possible to travel in two directions here, it is important for us to define a reference direction, a direction that we are going to say this is the direction that we define as positive. We prefer to use downward as positive because that way the acceleration is always positive and we know that any negative value refers to an upward vector, but you can use the opposite of this as well. What's important to see here is that although the velocity of this object is going to be negative as this object travels upward and then become positive as the object moves downward, it is very important to realize that the acceleration of this object remains a constant of 9.8 meters per second per second and that is downwards. Irrespective of the direction in which the object is moving, the acceleration is always a constant downward acceleration because the force of gravity and therefore the net force is always constantly downward. So it is important to have your reference direction so that you can determine the direction of velocity and displacement, but the acceleration will always be downward for an object that is in freefall known as a projectile.